Hello, and today we're going to create a light switch cover with polymer clay, these wooden sticks and some aluminum foil. The very first thing we have to do is to create our armature. Over here I'm using these sticks to create the armature. I didn't have time, but if you do, make sure that you cut everything and you try to create the perfect shape or the exact shape that you want and that will help you a lot. Over here I'm just putting some white glue. I know it's not going to be strong enough to hold everything together. It's just to make sure that some pieces won't move and I'm going to be able just to put my polymer clay. I have to say this is the first time that I use polymer clay with a plastic item. The plastic item is the light switch. So I'm not using any type of glue. I'm only pressing down really hard and I'm hoping that that's going to make them stay together. I have to say that I've done other projects with ceramic the same way. But if you want to make sure that uh, the clay stay there almost forever, you have to use polymer clay liquid. That's the glue that we use for polymer clay. And everything is in the description. Remember, there are affiliate links, but they're there just in case you need them. And over here, I'm just going to keep going with my clay with tiny pieces just try to give the shape after I do that it's time to smooth the clay there's many techniques to smooth clay over here I'm just using my tool this tool I love it because it has two ends one end it has a tiny spatula and in the other end is like a knife or a big spatula and that will help me a lot to create some details or to smooth things out I'm gonna leave this one also in the description but you don't have to have it if you prefer you can use a real knife or you can use a spoon or you can use the the handle of your silverware and that can help too. One thing that I could have done also in the worst case scenario is to use the wooden stick to flat everything. And I'm saying the really worst case scenario because this clay right now you see and it feels like it's really smooth but it's not. That's just the magic of the video. <laughs> that make everything fast. But the reality was a really old clay and it's taking me time to do it. So probably the wooden stick will break. And I have to say that I should have just leave it like that. It was the perfect shape, the perfect form. You can see it's kind of a Batman theme and it would have been okay. But of course it's me. So I decided just to create more things. And that's not a bad thing. The problem is it was really late at night. I was actually watching a movie and I should have been watching uh, or having some reference. At least one, uh, I don't know, like uh, any type of rare plane to be able to have those details and not try to imagine how it should look like. So that was really, really bad. I wanted to have this done. Actually, was one of my ideas for Father's Day beside the Cobra that I did. This is not the perfect thing. One of the things that I can suggest if you're creating anything is grab your references, grab a notebook, Create a sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just to make sure that you know where is. everything goes, if you're happy that everything is okay. Over here, an example is all aluminum foil. If I would have a plan, I would have been able to put that before the clay, and it would have saved me some of the material. One thing that I didn't like, and that I put this border around the, the wings of this uh, Batman vehicle, because it's supposed to be aerodynamic, it's supposed to fly, and I wasn't scared, no, I was so thin. I decided to put this around it because I thought it was going to break. But one thing that I knew is that I didn't want people to see the holes where you put this on the wall. Also the hole where you have the switch, I didn't want people to see that. So I had many ideas how to cover that, but while I was trying to create details and everything, I was trying to think what would be the best. I was gonna use maybe a wire and try to make something that you can lift up and put down after using it but uh, I want also to be simple not to be that complicated more if people get inspired I know it's not the best <laughs> bad mobile that has been created probably is one of the worst but um, you can still have some ideas of how I did it and maybe create something cool but for sure, I was just thinking and I decided just to create this cabin just to try to make sure that I, that I have the whole shape of this piece. And that's one of the techniques that you can use. Just grab some part of your clay and just put around. Uh, this is going to be like your reference. It's going to be just shapes that they don't have to be there forever. They actually could be just to give you an idea, but you can remove them. But basically it's just to organize, to see, okay, 
do you want this to be here do you want to be this to be there and this is a technique that you can use screen characters doesn't have to be like over here actually this I think is the first no like a second machine that I created and I just smooth everything and put them together to try to make sense I have to say that um, I was thinking to spend another two three days and try to have everything smooth everything sharp but uh, I just it would take me longer and I wanted to get done with this project which I thought about it and even if I wanted this for Father's Day that could have been also for a kid room that is kinda Batman but is in this clay universe so it makes sense doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know but it's time to remove the cabinet and this every time that you remove a piece that has been being cooked or baked it's really easy to damage the piece it's really easy to move things around you can see even the part below got a little bit of damage so for sure I was trying to be careful I decided to use these chopsticks where I cut it and I was trying to use it to just connect the piece and in my mind it was going to be really easy. I have to say that I cooked this piece just for 10 minutes instead of 15 and um, and I I been careful and make sure that I, when I remove this aluminum foil everything is okay I'm not going to break it and it took me a while but I was able to remove and have that cover for my sushi. So when I tried on of course it was a little bit different and um, it wasn't even correct. It didn't fit correctly and you move the shape too much up so I decided just to remove that and think of something even simpler and what I'm creating at the bottom is something that is gonna hold the piece it's like a hand that is just gonna sit on it and hopefully it's gonna it's gonna be the way it's gonna work <laughs> so after I have this then it's time just to bake this piece there we go this is the piece not the best not the perfection I'm just gonna paint it in white, black but uh, before that I'm gonna show you the back you can see that yes I put the plastic light switch cover in the oven and I put everything together I could have put a piece a layer of clay on the other side but uh, I just run out of clay but also it was gonna be on the wall no one's gonna see it and I was able to show you how it looks so that's how I did it and just paint and this is it okay doesn't look like uh, like anything maybe in another world this could be like a, a bizarro Batman I don't know <laughs> but at the end I kinda like it and we have Batman and I have to say that when I started or I have this in my mind I didn't expect it to do something that big now that I think I've seen other opportunities maybe creating a dragon or something like that uh, but for sure every time that I see it I think I'm liking it and, um, and voila this is it I like that the cover it doesn't it's not wobbling it's not moving around it just perfectly fits like a key so now let's see if it works and if you want to be part of this community remember subscribe share comment below and um, check my links and enjoy art see you next time